All right, so the GUI tic-tac-toe, very similar to what we had before. The big difference is going to be we're going to use a window for this all to work out. So a little bit of history about Java. There was actually a windowing system called the Abstract Windowing Toolkit, or AWT. And they had windows and buttons and checkboxes and all that kind of stuff in it. And it turned out it wasn't very good. So the people at Java went and tried again, and they made an interface called Swing. And Swing is much better as far as making frames and all that kind of stuff. But they didn't know how to name it something new because they already had frame and checkbox and so everything else. So what they did is they named everything with a J in the front. So for example, in our game, we're going to create something called a J frame. That's basically a window that is the swing version of a window that pops up when we want it. So let's see. I'm going to call my J frame frame and call it a new J frame. Notice that it's a capital J and F. And it's going, hey, I don't know what that is. That's because I need to import it. So all of the stuff for swing is in Java X dot swing. So by the way, let me take a look at the Java API just to see what all is in Swing. So Java API, let's take a look at that. Java API. If I look in the J area, I uh, J. J list, J label, J frame, J radio button, J pop-up menu, J slider. So these are the various things that are used in the Swing uh, library. So for example, if I go look at JFrame, wow, look at all these parents it has. Anyway, notice at the top of this it has a little tutorial on how to make frames. Well, that's kind of useful. Maybe we should use that at some point. Um, all of these things in the methods you can do with a JFrame. All of these get graphics, removing things, repainting. And in fact, everything that is, has a parent, it gets all of those methods as well. So it's a child of Java AWT frame, which was the old kind of crappy version of frames. But it also gets all of those things as well. It's also got window. It also has container. It also has component. So there's lots of things a frame can do. In particular, what I'd like this to do is I'd like to make this visible when the whole thing starts. So to begin with, in my main method, I should create a new one of these. GUI tic tac toe. And I should create a constructor for this. Public GUI tic tac toe. All right, so I create my frame here. So everybody knows what my frame is doing. There's a couple things I want to do at this point. First thing I should do at the very top of this constructor, I should set how big it is. So it turns out I can set the size. So let's see. Maybe I'll set this to be, I don't know, 600 by 400? Sure. So that's the x direction and the y direction in pixels. So every dot on the screen is a pixel. This is how many pixels across it is, how many pixels down it is. Does it print in lines, like border? <coughs> You'll see. All right, other things about the frame. It turns out that, so this frame is going to have a little close box, but by default, it doesn't do anything. Isn't that annoying? So what I have to do is I actually have to tell it to close whenever I hit the little X box. This is a very uh, fairly long thing, which is set default close operation. And the only reason I have this memorized is because I've done it a ton of times. Normally, I would have to go look this up. This makes it so that, by default, when you hit the uh, close button, the little X in the upper right, it'll actually stop running the program. Otherwise, it'll keep running in the background. Finally, I can set this thing visible. There it 
There we go. It's a window. Isn't that exciting? All right, so windows. To put things into a window, you actually have to somehow decide where it's going to go. There's a little bit like HTML in that you actually have to like lay it out in a particular way. So there are different kinds of layouts. There are frame uh, border layouts, where you have a north, south, east, and west, and a center. There are box layouts. There's a variety of different things. Let's have a layout examples. So here's what a border layout looks like. So you have something at the top, north, south, east, or west and east, and a center. So you can set things up that way. You can set things in the box layout, which is just vertically or horizontally. There's something called a card layout, a flow layout. Flow layout is just left to right. If you want control of absolutely everything, including margins and merging and all sorts of stuff, grid bag layout is your friend. But it does mean you have to specify everything. There's also something called a grid layout. Hey, that looks like it might be useful. Store that one away. Uh, and there's a few others. Most of the time, what we're going to be using is either a grid layout or a border layout for most of the projects we're going to do in here. You're welcome to experiment with some of these other ones if you want. In particular, for tic-tac-toe, it makes sense to use a grid layout for us, because we're going to have three by three. So what I'd like to do is set up the layout for this frame to be a grid layout, at least for now. So what you can do is the frame can set its layout. And it's like, OK, what layout would you like? Well, the one that I want is a grid layout. Turns out a grid layout, you have to specify how many rows and columns. So I want three by three. Once again, you have to import this. And this is in the Java AWT section. So notice that now I've got grid layout as an AW as an import and JFrame as an import. <coughs> okay, I have this layout, but I'd like to put things into it now. So to begin with, what I'm going to look at is something called a J button, something that you can click on. Um, for now, I'm just going to put it in here. There's going to be a better way to do this in a moment. So with a J button, what you can do is you can put what text shows up in the constructor for it. Uh, first, J button is also in swing. So if I do Java X dot swing dot J button. <coughs> That'll show up there. So this uh, allows me to use a J button so it doesn't give me a red squiggly angry line. This actually creates the J button, but it's just sitting in memory right now. It's not actually on my frame yet. I actually have to add it to my frame to have it show up. So to add things, you use add. So I'm going to add first to my frame. Notice the order I'm doing this in. I set the layout before I add it to the frame. That's important. Otherwise, it'll set this to be squished to the 0, 0 spot, and you won't actually see it. You want to make sure you always set layouts before you add things into it. So now if I look at this, hey, look, it's a giant button named first, which doesn't do anything yet. This is so exciting. Hey, 